Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm going to release a new tool which I currently call Bag Value Analyzer but maybe you guys can come up with a better name. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you would like to see more information or videos about Neverwinter hit the subscribe button. So most of you will probably know about the master crafting sheet that I made and I'm actually still working on it. Uh, the next update will be big. The thing is, master crafting is only part of my channel. The biggest part and my roots are in the RNG department. I have a lot of videos showing you all what your chances are on getting specific rewards from certain containers. Often in the last part of the video, I also add an analysis of what the value of a bag or coffer or container is in AD. I do this by checking the values of all the contents in the pack in the auction house and then doing some relatively simple math. There are a couple of issues with, these, uh, with this AD value, value calculation. First of all, uh, the prizes that I choose are from a certain moment in time. Uh, I do not keep all the numbers in the descriptions up to date. That would be really a lot of work. So after about a week or so, they lose their value because the values in the auction house have changed. Second, it's hard to actually make good use of the percentages that I calculated. Yes, it gives some insight, typically in the most rare of drops, but I think it can have a larger purpose, which I'll actually show later on in the video. Third. The values I use are for PC because I play on PC. So console players, they don't really have a use or a benefit of the values that I calculated. Sometimes I get some of the values uh, in the comments and then I add that in the description, of course. But that rarely happens. And then we get back to problem number one. Those prices will be obsolete after uh, yeah, a week, maybe. Well. I hope to fix these issues with this new tool that I made. So um, let's go first to here. I tried to give all my tools a nice readme with a change tracker like here down below. Uh, so you can see what actually happens in there and you can see where to download the newest version. I think that's also in here. It's probably in the description here. So you know where to go for questions or where you get a new version of this thing. Um, and also, uh, of course, I will keep this thing up to date. So if I have new data, uh, I will add the percentages also in this tool. There's only one other tab. So let's go to this one. Um, as you can see, it's a really simple tool, especially compared to the master crafting sheet. Uh, there are only a couple of, of fields to fill in and some of them are dynamic, which you will see in a moment. So the first thing you have to select here is the container that you want to analyze. Huh? So you can pick anything you want here. Uh, there's many things in here, like just for example, the variety fashion pack. If you select the pack, it will immediately show you all the drops in this pack with the percentages and yeah. That's it. Um, second, you can enter how many of these you want to open. And uh, if you fill in something here, so let's fill in 248, for example, it will show you in a fraction because uh, sometimes you have less than zero, uh, but it will show you av on average how much of these drops you will get in each pack. Now this is of course one with a lot of auction house values. So these are the other items that you have to fill in for a full um, analysis. Yeah? So the total AD from these packs and the AD per container. Uh, let's pick an easier one. So let's say we want to um, analyze the mysterious chicken egg, which is very simple. Um, let's see on the auction house what they are actually selling for. Copy it from here. 
As you can see, Mysterious Chicken Eggs sell for about 20, uh, 26,243 AD and there are many under 27,000 AD. Uh, the drops in here can be a chicken or a cockatrice, so let's look up these values. Chicken. Chicken is worth about, let's say, 100,000 to be conservative. And the cockatrice. Cockatrice is worth, uh, let's round it to 30,000 AD. So, um, if you look here, uh, if I would open 248 um, chicken eggs, I would get 35 chickens on average and about 212, 213 cockatrices. With these AD values, that will actually mean that I get a total value out of these boxes of about almost 10, mil 10 million. And per container, this is worth 39,919 AD. If we go back to the mysterious uh, chicken egg we can see that it is actually worth more than uh, what it sold for so buying this theoretically me it means that this is a good purchase actually uh, and, and this is what you can do with every pack and there are many in here. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I entered everything already. I have for example also Soulmonger's logbox. I have, uh, I don't think I have all the glorious resurgence logboxes in here, only the mods well for some reason. But I think there are more of them and you can see all the percentages here every time. Of course the a a a auction house values are not saved. Uh, that's really because the values change anyway all the time. So saving them doesn't really have uh, a big advantage. But yeah, as you can see, you can see a lot in here. And the mysterious crystal mount, oh, no, mysterious chicken hack was just an example. Of course, you can do this with, with all the values in here. And like that, work the auction house and maybe even make some profit of that. Um, so, um, as I said, I will keep this uh, tool up to date. I will add all the RNG values. They're all verified by me. Um, I will keep them up to date and you can always download the latest version in on my Patreon page. Um, a couple disclaimers. Of course, these values are averages. If you open one, well, one it's it's really open you could, could get a battery mask you could get a ceremonial chair uh, this tool works with fractions so it always calculates the same uh, value for the ad per container and the total ad is also divided by all these values and so it will take everything into account there's no guarantee that these values are 100% correct. Um, first of all, I did the tests in a certain moment of time and I have no control or insight in whether the devs make some kind of nerf. Uh, if you've opened a lot of these packs and the values are completely different, maybe let me know uh, and then I can take a look at this pack again maybe. Maybe make the percentages correct again. Another thing, um, I did one test, but maybe the tests were not a big enough sample size. That's also when the values can deviate a little bit. So I'm not giving some kind of guarantees on these percentages. That That's all I want to say. Uh, so you cannot come to me and, well, I, I wouldn't say sue me, but um, be angry at me when you don't get what uh, the percentages say. It's, it's just a tool that I, I, need, I, I want to try to help you make some AD of the auction house. That's actually what the main purpose of this tool is. And, and give some insight in uh, the packs. Because some packs don't even give, um, like the lost and found box. Uh, I did an opening for that recently. It doesn't say what items are in this pack. And like this, you can see what's in there. So that also helps give insight in what you can find in what box. Um, anyway, so 
that was it relatively short video um, but I think I explained pretty nicely what um, this is if you have any remarks on this video or tool or any suggestions on what to investigate next feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video